all the time. She said hi to everybody. She knew everyone's name. She's the most sincere friend ever. Anguish tonight as family and friends remember a young woman from Council Bluffs killed in a crash at 33rd and L in South Omaha. Investigators believe the driver who hit her car was drunk and street racing. 21-year-old Sarah Root graduated from Bellevue University the day before she died last Sunday. Good evening, I'm Craig DeGrelli. And I'm Jennifer Griswold. Her family says she wanted to work in law enforcement. Now they're determined to make sure their daughter gets justice. They share their message with Kevin Bowden tonight. He joins us now live from 33rd and L. Kevin? Craig and Jen, this is the intersection where that awful crash happened, 33rd and L in South Omaha. Police say Root's life ended because of a driver who had too much to drink and got behind the wheel anyway. We're here tonight to remember and celebrate a life of a beautiful daughter, Sarah. Huddled against the cold and wind Sunday night, loved ones remembered the glowing smile of Sarah Root. Lifelong friend Heather Myers remembers afternoons in high school making t-shirts. In high school we used to get together and we'd make t-shirts for football games. We'd do like tie-dye or handprint and then we would get ready before the game and go cheer on AL. <laughs> now she wears this shirt to honor her friend. I'm going to wear it as often as I can, <laughs> keep her memory alive. Root died as a result of injuries she suffered in a car crash January 31st. Prosecutors say 19-year-old Eswin Mejia was drunk and racing another car when he slammed into Root's car, stopped at an Omaha intersection. He's now charged with vehicular homicide. A judge sent Mejia's bond at $50,000, $5,000 to bail out of jail. And find it very upsetting that the cost of a bond proved less than the cost of her funeral. Sarah's father, Scott, now carries a torch for his daughter, determined to make sure his little girl, who wanted to help others, isn't forgotten. We cannot bring Sarah, beautiful Sarah, back, but we always carry her on in our hearts and continue to be her voice in her fight for justice. Thank you. In court this week, prosecutors said Mejia's blood alcohol level was three times the legal limit, and he was driving on a suspended license. As for Root, her life, in a way, will live on. She donated her organs to six different people after uh, she suffered those injuries. Today was especially hard for her family. Her funeral was yesterday. In South Omaha tonight, Kevin Bouton, KMTV Action 3 News.